in the Quran itself, in Surah An-Nisa, in Ayah 171, concerning Isa ibn Maryam, it calls him Ruhun Minhu, a spirit from him, proceeding from him. This elevates Isa al-Masih to a unique and special place. He is not like other prophets. I am not the one saying it. That particular passage of the Quran spells it out for us. And it goes even one step further and calls him Kalimatu, which means the word of Allah. What is a word when it relates to the person of God? It is simply divine speech. And divine speech, we are taught even in the Quran and in every book, in fact, that preceded the Quran, that divine speech, his word, is something that is eternal. This is why it is taught in Islam that the Quran is a copy of what is called Umm al-Kitab. Islam teaches that the word of Allah is with him from all time. Was there a time when that divine speech was not with Allah? Can you conceive of a time when Allah could not speak? That is impossible. Allah would not be Allah if he had not the capacity, this attribute of being able to speak. So the word of Allah has always been with Allah from eternity and it is inseparable from Allah. It is eternal. And if it is eternal, and that term is applied to Isa al-Masih, so that puts him in a different category altogether. And yet, at the same time, his word is distinct from him, not to be confused with Allah. It is his word. So it is a word from him. And he sent his word, Isa al-Masih, into the world. And this is what we understand by the Quranic phrase, Kalumat Allah.